London, a city of dreams, a city you see growing up in films, iconic, riddled with history and culture, a city where you see people from all different walks of life, young and old, in a city that moves fast and slow, but one that never loses its charm. But the question is, is London really worth it? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Shaban and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at King's College London. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about whether London is really worth it in terms of studying here and living here as a student. It's a big question because London is a very popular destination to study. It definitely has some of the best universities in the world, including Imperial College London, University College London, King's College London, the London School of Economics, uh, the London Business School, and these are just naming a few. London has its advantages and disadvantages, and though living here may seem like a fairy tale or a movie or something like that from far away, because it definitely did seem like that to me, it definitely does have a few pitfalls as well. That's why today we're gonna discuss both these advantages and disadvantages to come up with an answer to the question, is London really worth it? But before we do that, I want you to go check out my YouTube channel because over there, I make videos about medical school and university. So that includes day in the life videos, vlogs, videos about life in medical school and university and how to get into medical school and university and other general videos about lifestyle, travel, stuff like that. So go check it out and if you think it's something you'd be interested in, then smash that subscribe button to join me for a lot more videos. Now without any further ado, let's get right into it. So first of all, as I always like to do, let's start with the pros because uh, let's start with the good stuff, right? So the first major pro for me about living in London is the diversity. In London, you have people from all sorts of backgrounds, from different countries, different upbringings, all of that. So uh, you'll make a lot of different types of friends and you learn a lot from them. And uh, it's, it's really interesting to meet all sorts of new people as well. And in a way, if you're coming from outside London, it does make you feel at home because you don't feel like you're the only outsider in the city. When I say diversity, there's also diversity in activities. You can find lots of different things to do and you can find a lot of different activities from different cultures as well, whether it's restaurants that you're looking for or pretty much anything that you can think of doing you'll probably find it somewhere in London. The second pro of London, well, this is a pro according to me, maybe not according to you, but anyway, it's a very high energy and vibrant city. It's fast paced, like I said earlier, there's lots of stuff to do. I mean, I've been living here for over three years now and I'm still exploring parts of London that I have never seen before. And there are definitely many, many parts that I haven't fully explored. People in London love to go out and there are loads of activities, including pubs, clubs, bars, restaurants, all sorts of activities. Uh, there's really a plethora of things to do and you'll never really run out of entertainment options. And as a student, you're really affected by this because the more there is to do, the, the more chances there are to have more interesting and varied social events. And in addition, if you're not a very social person as well, you still won't get bored in this city. It's, a, it's definitely one of the easier cities to live alone in because uh, suppose you're living in a less vibrant, less high energy suburban area, uh, then you're probably gonna get quite bored if you're all by yourself or you don't have your friends around you or something like that. And that's generally not the issue in London. London is also a very significant city. It's, it's a globally important city and it's a big market as well. So uh, again, when you're talking about entertainment, activities, uh, even educationally, a lot of things are affected by this because a lot of people come to London, whether it's, whether you're talking about entertainment activities like sports or uh, concerts or stuff like that or whether you're talking about like you know TED talks or I don't know what you're interested in listening to or attending but that it's most likely that if something big is happening it might be happening in London. London is also 
very well connected city in many many ways on the more academic side london is home to many different industries and it's a fantastic place to start your career london is one of the financial capitals of the world with a lot of financial institutions uh, a lot of corporations a lot of uh, other opportunities if you're going into a different profession like law or uh, medicine you definitely have many chances to find a good job over here although it is getting increasingly difficult year by year and more competitive but we'll get to that in a bit it's also well connected in the sense that it's very easy to get around from to go from place to place whether you're walking you're taking the tube or you're taking the bus or you're taking the train public transport is fantastic it's also well connected on the more global side because if you think about it london is right in the center of the world if you look at a typical globe i know it's round so any place can technically be the center but you can reach more significant places uh pretty quickly from london right uh if you're taking a flight to north america that's not too far away if you're taking a flight to the middle east that's not bad obviously europe is close by even for me taking a flight to india isn't too bad as well so it's generally quite well connected and you can catch a flight to pretty much anywhere from london because even the airport is quite a global hub now those were the advantages let's move on to the disadvantages well the first and most obvious one staring you in the face is that london is extremely expensive very expensive it's one of the most expensive cities to live in in the world unless you're looking at cities like new york hong kong singapore not much can stand up to how expensive london really is i don't just mean living costs tuition fees are quite expensive here as well well that depends on where you're comparing it to if you're comparing it to the us maybe it's not as bad but compared to most places it's still quite a significant cost as an international student that is if you're not an international student then it shouldn't be too bad the average income for reference in london is around 39000 pounds versus the average cost of living that's closer to 43000 pounds a year So there's a bit of a disparity over there. It's also easy to get lost in the big city. That that happens quite easily because you're not living on a campus. There's it's not most universities here. I think really all universities are not campus universities because they just don't have that kind of space. It's mostly buildings or mini campuses that are spread around the city. You're not living on campus. All of your activities are not necessarily on campus. You're not on campus 24/7. So you don't necessarily make friends or bond in the same way you have more of a choice of who you want to be around uh who your friends are going to be it's it's definitely easy to end up alone if i had to put it that way but also if you're proactive about it that shouldn't be too much of an issue if you actively make an effort to make friends uh then you'll obviously make friends but my point is more that if you just let things happen there's a possibility that you may end up alone uh, i'd say in terms of safety from what i've heard experienced seen read london is overall a safe city especially if you're sticking to certain areas and you know you're not going out incredibly late at night all alone in dodgy areas uh but uh there are certain places in london that you need to be aware of and that you need to steer clear of and i wouldn't recommend being out uh, really late alone at night far from home or something like that or after a night out be somewhere on the road late at night it's definitely not that safe i think nowhere is really but uh yeah you definitely have to be aware of some petty theft and crime that goes on in london a lot of people have their phones snatched from them and or pickpocketed petty theft and uh, crime is becoming uh more and more prevalent especially in tourist areas and lastly london is highly highly competitive so obviously it's a very desirable location as i mentioned many times in this video and therefore there are many people who want to apply here who want to work here who want to live here so you're really competing for very few spots with a lot of people each step gets progressively harder first of all finding a place at a university here 
Again, it's possible, but it's not easy. You'll have competition, you'll have to perform well. On top of that, finding a job, that gets even harder because you need to be sponsored if you're not from London, or rather if you're not from the UK. And uh, that is also a sort of burden on you because it's not as easy to find companies or job roles that will involve a sponsorship. Because of that, you'll be having to fight tooth and nail throughout. If you're looking for something a little less competitive and more relaxed, you'd want to start looking outside London and of course, maybe somewhere outside the UK as well. Overall, that's my analysis of what living in London is like, the advantages, the disadvantages. Uh, I'm sure that's not everything there is to say on London, but that's basically what the most important points are according to me. Honestly, I can't give you a perfect answer in terms of whether London is worth it or not. That really depends upon you, what you're looking for, what you're willing to put in, or what you want to get out of it. Uh, for me, I love the city and I love living here. I think it's pretty great, but again, it's up to you whether all these advantages and disadvantages uh, make a difference, what holds more weight. So basically, this is all the information you decide and I hope it was helpful. I hope it gave you some insight into living in London. If you found it useful, helpful, enjoyable, then drop a like down below on this video. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're interested in watching more such videos. Leave any comments you want down below asking me any questions about anything living in London or something else. And do share the video with your friends, colleagues, family, whoever who's planning to study in London or considering living in London. And with that, I will see you in the next one.